to VFW Baseball on CTN Coon Rapids. Jeremy Smith here with Howie Shapiro. Coon Rapids facing Blaine today. As you can see on screen, we already have a pitch as the game just started off. Howie, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful. The beautiful Blaine Baseball Complex at Paul Parkway, where this game is being played. What a great day for two. It is indeed a great day as we see the second pitch here. That'd be the third. Third pitch. And we got a leadoff strikeout to kick off our game today. We see out there on the mound for Blaine, Quinn McDonald. Blaine coming off five wins over this over the uh, weekend here. They've upped their record to seven and two. Went into the weekend with a, an even record at two and two and tacked on uh, five wins. So not a bad way to get through the weekend. Nope. Chambliss hitting 417 on the season. 15 of 36 at the plate. As he follows that one back over the backstop. As Howie mentioned, Dawson Chambliss in. Third base minor for Coon Rapids at the plate now with one out. Coon Rapids comes in with a 7-7 seven seven record. Back-to-back -back K's, Jeremy Smith. That is a nice way as a pitcher to start a game. As uh, Quinn McDonald gets the first two swinging. That'll bring up Sean Wright for Coon Rapids. Stepping into the box here. Sean hitting uh, 273, 9 of 33 on the season. As he follows the first one off. I've, I've learned at this ballpark to park far enough away where foul balls don't get to you. Because if you park in that first row here along the right field fence, you're in danger of getting a foul ball. There is a, a decent line of trees, but it's not so impenetrable. I parked in Coon Rapids and took the shuttle. Nice pitch. Great delivery there to get ahead of 2 This could be a quick half inning and a perfect half inning for Quinn McDonald. 0-2 pitch on the way here. Just high for ball one. Now, Sean Wright has anything to say about it. He will uh, he'll get this, keep this ball in play. But certainly, Quinn McDonald has started off well from the mound. Struck out the first two batters. Down inside for that one to even the count at two each. His own. There you go. Good eye there, just high. Yeah, and good patience. You know, sometimes on that on that pitch, that fastball, it's a little bit to the outside. You want to offer at. Good job uh, getting that count to three and two. A full count here. And that is high for ball four. After going ahead 0-2, Sean Wright draws a walk, gets out to first, gives Coon Rapids its first. Base runner of the night. And we are live tonight. On, uh, so if you live in the Coon Rapids area and you turn us on, we're on channel 19. Or, of course, we're on YouTube as well. Always live on YouTube, except when we're not. Which is usually during playoff time, but we try, we're going to try and bring you as many live ball, ball games this summer as possible. Absolutely. First pitch to Jackson Aurelius. A little inside. And of course, Jeremy Smith filling in admirably for Joe Yund, who's on a tour overseas entertaining the troops. This one grounded towards second base, tossed easily over to the shortstop and that'll bring the end of the inning. So one base runner on walk for Coon Rapids, but no damage done. We'll go to break and we'll be right back with more info. You're watching baseball on CTN Coon Rapids. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt.
that's the one. I will not be news today. I will not make another push to be the first man in space with frosted tips and a puka shell necklace. And I will not go viral when my terror is caught on camera when I finally realize that in the vacuum of space, no one can hear you sing. I'm Lance Bass, and I will not be trending today because there is a much bigger story that needs to be heard. Back with more baseball here in Blaine. Bottom of the first inning. And Blaine gets first chance to swing those bats that treated him so well over this last weekend. Brandon Strauss on the mound for Coon Rapids. Uh, one and one, 12 innings pitched. The son of the boss who happens to be here, so we must be on our best behavior. Nah. No question, Howie. No question. No question. Now Strauss will get to face a pretty solid lineup for Blaine there. As uh, everybody's getting ready to roll. Well, this squad, the sophomores on this squad as freshmen last year, Jeremy, were undefeated. So this is a good team. Blaine made it to the state tournament this year. They had a good high school varsity program, good JV program. And in this course, at VFW, some of the younger athletes feeding into the, into the varsity program as well. And we see that first pitch from Strauss just a little higher for ball one. Wyatt Brenny in the batter's box for Blaine. Lions one off the first baseman's glove and into right field. Looked like Sean Wright was going to have that in the field, but just tipped off his glove. Nice way for Blaine to start this game. Lead off single for Brenny. Let's take another look at that. Sean Wright, it was, it was ripped. And, and just off his glove, couldn't, uh, couldn't bring that one in. And that'll be a first batter base runner. Strauss throws over to check the runner. Brandon does have a nice pickoff move. Eric told me he learned it all from him. And in the batter's box there, we see the pitcher for Blaine, Quinn McDonald. Always in a good situation when you're the pitcher, you're up second, you run around base, see if you can move the runner along, but certainly hold, help your cause on the mound. Brenny takes his lead over on first. Strauss keeps an eye on it. Throws that one, a little low. The count of 2 and 0. McDonald with a fine inning on the on first inning on the mound. A couple of strikeouts. Got the last batter to ground out after walking a hitter. And that one's lined into right field. In the alley. And they are waving the runner home. No throw. And that's an RBI double for the pitcher. Yeah, just a nice, nice job hitting it in the gap between right and center field. And McDonald does what he needs to, gets the first run of the game, and gets a, good, a double. But good look at that one there. Yeah, and, and really heads up running by Brenny. Let's go, come on. Let's go, Dylan. Keep it going. Bat around this inning. That'll bring up Dylan Wilson. Man out on second base, left-handed batter here. And uh, we'll get a pinch runner out there. That would be Garrett Amils. Might be butchering his name, and I apologize. Garrett? I think it got yeah, that no, right. Yeah, is that right? Oh, it. It's pronounced well, Garrett. I didn't know if it was the, the French version. That one is lined to short. Oh, yeah, that And was they nice. got him in time for a nice double play to clear the base runner. That always feels good after giving up a run. Yeah, good heads-up play by Jimmy Brinda. Makes the catch and, and the throw to Orlikowski. Jack does a great job of getting over to the bag. Getting the throw, eliminating the base runner. It was huge. Heads up fielding there. Well, it was huge. You get you get uh, a couple of quick outs, and you get that opportunity to get the runner off the base pass. And you clear the bases. That's the yep. best part. So. Nobody on. And that one is fouled back. That's oh. yours, Smith. That's uh, that's back in the mini field behind us there. That one's uh, the size of field I'm used to playing on, but I didn't bring my glove. Well, it's may, still kind of big for you, isn't I it? I may go get it in the car between you games. Yeah. You should. They're yep. looking for a few players. Absolutely. It's going to be a short game, but they're looking for a few. Well, there you go. 
Nice pitch in on the hands. Yeah, he took a little something off that. Good pitch from Brandon Strauss, just trying to get out of this inning with just a little bit of damage, just the one run so far. So down 0-2, Brennan McClovey taking a look. Strauss gets the signal. That one grounded to second base. Throw is over there and in time to end the inning. Two hits, one run for Blaine as they go on top 1-0. We'll go to break. And Coon Rapids gets back to the plate here on CTN Coon Rapids. This is the moment I knew. His future had no boundaries. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Back with baseball on CTN Coon Rapids. Top of the second inning, 1-0 lead for Blaine. After a lead off hit. And a double with an RBI. Well, could have been a, it could have been a tough inning for Coon Rapids, but which turned into a nice, nice inning. Just a one run on a double play to get two quick outs. First strike swing in there for Carter Anderson, Coon Rapids left fielder, getting his first at bat of the night. Carter hitting 429 on the season. Nine so for 21. Shows off a good eye there to hold off and even the count at 1 1. It's a good athlete. Lines that one towards second base. That one is fielded, thrown over, and one down for Coon Rapids. Good sounds of the ball field here. Always. I like the layout of this field here with the big Blaine water tower out there in center field. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a, obviously a small town feel to it and not certainly Blaine not being a small town at all. There you get a nice shot of the, uh, the view. Jimmy Brenda up to bat now. Jimmy hitting 231 on the season. Good heads up defensive play there in that last half inning as he follows off the second pitch. That one's hit into right field as Alex Lucko ranges over and makes the catch on that one to put the second one away. A couple of quick outs now on the field for Blaine as they hold on to a slim 1-0 lead here as this game just started. Jake Wheelan, designated hitter. Takes that first one outside for ball one. Big cut at that second pitch, but that one gets through for strike. One, one the count. That one is tipped back, one and two. Little bit of a breeze, but not much. Flag's pretty still out there in right field by the scoreboard. Oh. 
One, two pitches high for ball two. The sun uh, in the west just uh, outside of the ballpark, out of the left field side, so possibly in the first baseman's eyes on a throw from third, but otherwise shouldn't have too much effect on the game as that pitch is in the dirt. 3-2, full count. Wheeland hitting 233 as he steps to the plate. An opportunity to try and keep this inning going if he can either get a hit or work a walk, free pass. There you go. Well, two outs is where Coon Rapids had its base runner last inning. Let's see if they do the same here. Are you predicting it? Are you calling it? Not at all. Strike three, third strike out of the game. Four. The pitcher, Quinn McDonald for Blaine. We're going to go to break. We'll be back with more baseball. Did you know you can report problems to the city with your smartphone? Download the Coon Rapids app. The reported feature allows you to describe the problem, snap a photo, and submit it directly to the city work order system. It's an easy way to report a pothole, broken street light, or other neighborhood concern. No smartphone? Then hop online and report your concern through the city's website. City maintenance problems solved the easy way. Coon Rapids reported. Michael Adams? Here. Michael Adams? Here. <laughs> Michael Adams? Here! Michael Adams. Students who miss 18 days of school in any grade risk falling behind and not graduating. Absences add up. Keep track at boostattendance.org today. Oh! Checking your fantasy loop? Nah, just my 401k statement. Mm. Nice. Where'd you find the money for that? I've just been saving a little every month. <laughs> I can't seem to save anything. Well, what about all this? What about the money you're spending? <laughs> what money? It's gone before I can get my hands on it. I got a pizza for a Todd. Hey, can somebody spot me? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. It's 547. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. Bottom of the second, VFW Baseball. Brandon Strauss' first pitch. Gets away from the catcher, Nathan Cook. I'm sorry, Jackson Rally. We flip-flopped our uh, We did, but, but I, did cross, here. I did cross the name out. You did so, cross it yeah. out. I'm, I'm table dyslexic right now. That one's right lined now. to right field. And Kyle Woodward's over there to make the catch on that one. Perot look, hit that when it came off the bat. Looked like it may fall for a hit. It did hang up enough for Woodward to bring it in. Get another look at that one there. First pitch, a ball one to second baseman Jack Pooner. Left-handed batter for Blaine. He drills that one foul off, out of play and down left field line. Yeah, looking to go that one the other way and actually good thinking if he can find that line. So with one down and 0-1 count. That pitch bounces away. From the catcher, 1-1 one, one the count here. Jackson really is behind home plate. He's, uh, he's a young man of some good size. And that pitch misses as well, 2-1. Looking to do a good job of keeping his body in front of the ball tonight. He gets the start behind the plate. The net minder. The net minder. That one's fouled again out of play down the left field line. A little more air under that one. And that'll even the count up at 2 2. Uh, 
pitch is hit indeed over to left field. Carter Anderson able to range over and make a easy catch there on that fly. Yeah, Carter, another one of these good good athletes on this team. Does a nice job of just moving to his right to bring that one in. And that's two quick outs. Much better start to the inning for the Coon Rapids defense. Brings Dallas Carey up to the plate. Carey holds up on the first one. Ball one. Going for that inside part of the plate. Didn't miss by much. Coach Jason Hake chasing after a uh, foul ball that was left out on the field in foul territory. 1-0 pitch finds the zone to even the count. 1-1. One, one. One, one pitch is just high out of the zone. 2-1. One, one. There we go. Whew. Yeah. Now that you mentioned my I, dyslexia, I I'm overthinking figure, I everything. I knew you would eventually figure it out. Well, luckily, I've got our graphics team to bail me out. That one grounded just through the hole between first and second base. That's going to get through for a single for Dallas Carey. Extend this inning a little bit. Tough play for Lakowski to move to his right to make that play. You can see it here. It's going to be hitting the gap between first and second. Not an opportunity for Wright. Or Lukowski is the only Coon Rapids player with the opportunity to make a play on it. But a uh, nice piece of hitting there. That gives like carry. right fielder Alex Luckow a chance to advance a base runner. He's over there on first. Two down, though, for Strauss. He's keeping an eye on that runner. First pitch is down and in. A good job by Aurelius just to make sure he kept that ball in his mitt. Looked at the runner at the same time, made sure that he wasn't going to try and, and steal a base. Carey gets his lead over on first, fakes a run, the pitch is in for strike one. Nice pitch, nice strike on the outside portion of the plate. Better calls for time, looking for the signals from his coach. Coon Rapids, six and four record in the conference. Blaine, two and two. Lost a couple of conference games. 1-1 one, one pitch, gets driven down to third base. Fielded, thrown across the diamond, but does not make the catch. Well, the ball's a little bit low on the throw from Chambliss. Wright couldn't bring it in. And that'll keep this inning alive for Blaine. Moves carry over to second. Luckow ends up on first after the air. And Isaac Robinson, number nine batter, gets a chance here with two down, two men on. Good situation here for Robinson with two two runners on. See if he can keep this inning alive. The shortstop for the Bengals. Strauss steps off the mound to check his runners. Gets the call and sets. Oh, nice pitch there. That one in for a strike. Strauss just wants to care, just to concentrate on that batter at the plate and get out of the inning. That was two down. That's all you really can do. 0 1 pitch on the way. That one popped up to center field. Corey ranges in, makes that catch. No more damage done. One hit, a couple base runners left on, but still a one run game. Playing up 1-0 on Coon Rapids. We'll be back with more baseball. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. Listen, 
You are extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm gonna have to block you. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked too. <laughs> More music means we're back. It's baseball time, Howie. Top of the third inning. A couple hits for Blaine, but only one run across the plate. Coon Rapids back up to try and uh, put some numbers on the board. Yeah, we talked about the weather. Beautiful day. Sunshiny evening for a couple of games here. Doing a doubleheader. BFW Baseball. These two teams will go at it right after, shortly after this first game concludes. This is the first head of the doubleheader. This is true. It was game number one. Game one of two. Seven inning games in VFW ball. So, barring the Burlingame extra inning special. Quinn McDonald back out on the mound for the third. His first pitch is fouled back toward the cars. The vehicles, not the band. They're no, not here tonight. They, no. We tried to get them. They wouldn't show. Yeah. But we do have a number of insurance agents here because the cars are close, park to the par close to the park, so windshield damage uh, is a possibility. Here's my card. Orlikowski in there, the first batter for Coon Rapids. 1-1 one, one count for him. Watch a strike two. Catch the plate there. That pitch is high. Good eye to watch that one seal out of the zone. 2-2. Two -two. Well, in the Coon Rapids program, they always practice patience at the plate. Orlikowski batting 300 on the season. Cuts through that one as McDonald gets him to swing. His fourth strikeout of the night already. Taking another look at that pitch. And, yeah, he's he's had a nice evening on the mound so far early on. As you mentioned, four strikeouts here. We're in the top of the third. And that brings Coon Rapids' number nine batter, Ryan Corey, center fielder. Corey's batting 281 on the season. As he watches that pitch. Go by, and he's up 2-0. McDonald steps off the mound. Corey called time just to uh, step out of the box just to recompose himself. 2-0 pitch on the way here. That one had some good motion on it, but doesn't quite find the zone. 3-0. Great place to be as a batter. Yes. First base is a, a better pancake. place to be, In right? a pancake, maybe, too. There you go. Good place for some batter. Hey, draws the walk. And there we are. Four-pitch walk. And that puts a man on. For Coon Rapids with one down. And we'll be back up top of the order. Kyle Woodward struck out back in the first. But he's got an opportunity here. I'm a big fan of pancakes. How about you? Pancakes? I, uh, Are you a fan of pancakes? Definitely like pancakes. They're much less uh, less work and equipment required than waffles. Waffles, you have to have special machinery. Pancakes you can even make when you're camping. That, that is true. On the, the uh, This is, by the way, a Jeremy Millington production today. Jeremy says the waffles are better. We're going to take a poll out there. And oh, Jeremy, Jeremy's like going to the... give us his cell phone number, and we're going to give it to you on air, and you can call him and tell him how you feel about pancakes versus waffles. There you go. First strike in to Kyle Woodward. The runner over on first base is Ryan Corey. Got there on a walk. And that pitch is low. 1-1. One, one. With one away, Coon Rapids would like to get something going here in the top of the third. Just down by a run. Woodward in the tournament this weekend hit a buck fifty. Three of 20 at the plate. 
And that one's get fouled That's back. That's headed for the Buick. They still make Buicks? There's the one in the parking lot. <laughs> the one old Buick. The one old Buick. That's actually the slide. That's the kid's slide. Yeah. They made it out of an old exactly. Buick. Left a hood ornament down at the nice. end Nice. Oh, that's got to leave a mark, too, I would imagine. One and two, the count was one down here, top of the third. Throw goes back to first and gets away from him. And Ryan Corey is going to get over to second base standing up after a... Uh, well, throwing mistake from Quinn McDonald. They're going to see the uh, Quinn McDonald trying to pick off move. It's just going to be in the dirt and jumps past Patrick Perot. 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 I think that's Perot. 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 I think it's or it could be I think Perot. It's Perot. I'm going to go with Perot. All right. Well, if anybody knows, Jeremy Millington. What's your email, Jeremy? Let's put it up on the screen. There we go. One, two count, runner over at second, takes the uh, pressure of that double playoff. Swing through there, strike out another man. And that's a, that, that is a big second out for Blaine in the field. Definitely helps him out, that runner over at second in scoring position will bring Doss and Chambis up to the plate. James had a good weekend in this tournament, hitting 357 this past weekend, 10 of 28 from the plate. Open stance there at the plate. That one's down, bounces past the catcher. But he's able to keep it out in front of him. Good job by Cook there to keep his head up, keep the runner on second base. Well, uh, If the ball does get by the catcher, there's a fair amount of space between the home plate and the backstop. So you've got an opportunity to take a base if that happens. But you're right, Cook did a good job of keeping the ball in front of him. Enough where... Corey couldn't take an extra base. As Dawson Chambliss swings through that one to even the count up 1-1. One, one. Another pitch past him for 1-2. He throws that heat a little high in the zone, but he offered at it. McDonald doing a good job getting hitters to chase tonight. I think just a, uh, a step ahead of him as that one's popped up to center field. Wyatt Brenny there to make the catch. Base runner out there, but no runs across. Blaine still on top, 1-0, as McDonald strikes out his fifth of the game. Pop fly ends the inning, and we'll go to the bottom of the third here on CTN. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Live with a human for a while and you get to know a few things. Like, I know she's actually not a morning person. I know she does strange tricks for no treats. I know that water makes her howl like crazy. I even know how the floor stays so clean. She's quick. But the one thing I will never for the life of me know is how she gets so tiny and inside that box. Natalie, how do you get so tiny? Back with more baseball. I like the alliteration of it, Howie. That's why I keep going for it. No question. <laughs> no question. Bottom of the third inning, Blaine on top, 1-0. Brandon Strauss out on the mound. Gave up a couple of hits, only the one run. As he's out there for his third inning of work. He'll be facing the top of the order for Blaine. Inside to Wyatt Brenny. Well, Coon Rappers did have a runner at second in that inning, but couldn't couldn't bring him any further than that. As Blaine holds that 1-0 lead. Brenny able to uh, hit a single back in the first, and he's the lone run that's come across the plate. Strauss gets that one in there for strike one. 
one and one. Pitch just misses. 2-1 the count. Sun's out, but it's not too hot. It's a comfortable 78 it is, degrees. It is. It's a, it's a pleasant day. It's a little bit warm, but not bad. Humidity seems to be okay. And although, as, you know, being the CTN meteorologist, we are going to be in store for a very warm Thursday, Friday, probably a pretty warm weekend as well. Going to have some rain. That one's grounded hard to short. Scooped, and the throw not located well. Wright had to come off the bag to stop that one from getting past him. You know, we have, we have some uh, fans from around the country watching here tonight. We've, uh, we, on Facebook Live, we have Yvonne in Mandan, North Dakota. Yvonne, thanks for watching, as well as Keith in Oregsburg, Pennsylvania. Keith, my man. And then Marianne near Scranton, PA. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Coon Rapids baseball. And if they uh, if they listen to me at all, my kids are watching from Salt Lake City, Utah, where they're on vacation. Oh, right nice! Now. Courtesy of the uh, YouTube feed. If they're watching, give uh, give a text to dear old dad. Let him know. There you go. Tell him what a great job he's doing. And your uh, birthday and Christmas presents aren't directly tied to that, but it's not going to hurt. Right. One one count here. You gotta earn those brownie points. Absolutely. With dad, you know. Yeah. You know, the more brownie points you get, the uh, better gift you're gonna get. So. Well, my kids are getting older now, so they have social lives and they're they're teenagers. So. Runner goes grounded to second base. He'll be safe at second because he was headed with the steal. But McDonald out at first base, but avoided the double play. So with one down here, bottom of the third. Runner out on second. Dylan Wilson lined out back in the first. He'll have a chance here with that runner in scoring position. And that's what did they do. They're a good ball club, and they move runners along in scoring position and create opportunities for themselves. Strauss's first pitch lined to second base. Knocked down, but bounces behind. Runner's going home, and the throw is not coming. As that'll be an RBI single for Dylan Wilson. Tried to backhand that one. That's a tough one to get. And Blaine scores their second run of the game. To put, give themselves a 2-0 lead. That's usually what second run would mean, I suppose. Generally speaking. So we'll get another look at that as he tried to field it. Couldn't quite come up with it and then lost the ball. It went behind him. Brenny able to come in and score from second base. You know who else is watching us, Jeremy? It's Carol and Errol in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Dylan Wilson caught in a run down here as he was going, and Strauss was good to jump in front of him. He's got him. They're able to tag the runner out, and that's the second out of the inning. So. Well, again, that puts him in a situation where with just one out, now it eliminates the runner on the base paths and gives an opportunity for them to get out of an inning just with the one run again. So you're going to see a good job doing the run down. There's no opportunity for that for him there to get back. Tag applied. Dylan Wilson out on the base paths. There we go. I realized I had to have a little equipment change there. His chest protector, I think I had to change it. Maybe I had problems with the strap coming or coming apart. And but he is all geared up again. Just like you, you're geared up. Got the hat, got the shades. Well, it's sunny. Got the eye black on. I, oh I yeah. like that. I like that touch. I try to get all the way in the game. McClevey grounds this one to second. Easy throw over to end the inning. So just like in the first, Blaine able to put one on the board. Take a 2-0 lead here into the fourth inning. Watching VFW baseball on CTN. Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! 
even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Extra DWI enforcement is now being served on Minnesota roads. Don't be what you drink. Extra DWI enforcement is now being served on Minnesota roads. Getting busted will cost you thousands. Don't be what you drink. Nice shot of the fans in the stands here on a pleasant evening, as we've described. And watching a little bit of baseball here, top of the fourth inning. You can come here, watch some baseball, work on your tan. I'm here for both. I know you are. Well, Quinn McDonald, through three innings on the mound, has five strikeouts already, Howie. Yeah, he, he's uh, he's done really well to start this game, get an additional insurance run back in the bottom third. Working with that 2-0 lead. Sean right in the box for Coon Rapids. Able to draw a walk back in the first inning. Sean hit 250 in the tournament over the weekend. And he's ahead of McDonald 2-0 right now. That one's high for ball three. Right looking to uh, duplicate his uh, feet from the first inning. And he does. Four pitch walk, puts right over on first base, nobody down. And Jackson O'Reilly brings his tall frame into the batter's box here. Really has had a good tournament over the weekend. He had 387. Really to be the second, now well, I should say the third leading hitter in that tournament, but uh, pretty good weekend run for Jackson. Looking to keep this inning, uh, continue to keep this inning moving forward. First pitch misses there, and he gets ahead 1 0. Wright taking a small lead over at first as the second pitch is high. Not too much of a lead over there from the base. Just trying to start out with nobody out. Always tricky with a left-handed pitcher to get much of a lead. Yeah. He's looking at you the whole time. McDonald looks to get the signal. That pitch is down and in. But Cook does a great job getting the mask off, keeping the ball in front of him, holding the runner over at first. We were talking uh, our baseball past. You played some baseball back in the day. You're in fifth grade, is that what you said? I, I played through most of uh, grade school, junior high, high All school, right. summer league baseball. I enjoyed it as McDonald walks back to back batters. Put men on first and second here. Bring Carter Anderson up to the plate for Coon Rapids. Pitching coach for Blaine. Blaine. I was just looking to see if it's the pitching coach or the manager. Pitching coach goes out to have a word with Quinn McDonald. Nobody out. Two runners on. First opportunity. Really, what Cardinals? Or I don't even know if we call them the Cardinals. I'm going to call them Coon Rapids, of course. BFW. They have the uh, they had an opportunity with a runner at second last inning that couldn't bring him around, and with pretty good hitter and Carter Anderson coming to the plate, and Anderson hit on. 389 in the weekend tournament, seven of 18. Shows a bunt, pulls it back, and that'll be ball one. And try and play, see if they can play a little small ball to move the runners around. Definitely see the uh, first and third baseman playing inside the base paths there. Lays that one down back to the pitcher. Throw goes over to third. And they're able to get him there. 
One down, but two runners on. Yeah, push that, that bunt a little too far. Wanted to see if he can get it to die in that grass, but just a little bit too much. N nice job by McDonald coming off the mound, throwing over to Wilson at third for the out, and that will be out the first out of the inning. Shortstop Jimmy Brinda up to bat now. Runners on first and second with one down. Ball one high. What's your uh, your baseball past, Howie? Um, I played in the fifth grade. Yeah. I was so good that I never played again. I have a, I played in some junior high. I never played high school ball. Played a lot of softball, but never played high school ball. I was uh, I played tennis in high school during the spring season. We saw a ball two there to the batter, and we got a quick look at uh, Andrew Gorse warming up in the pen for Blaine. 2-0 pitch finds the glove there. Great sounds at the ball field, courtesy of Brian Trash. What, did he make that airplane noise? He does. Yeah, nice. Good job, Brian. There's actually no plane. He pipes that in. Oh, that's what, he just does it with his... Uh, He's a, he's a master at uh, imitating trucks and planes. and They're going to get him for the new police academy? Yeah, he, yeah, ex exactly. Nice. Yeah. That one's followed down the right field line. Some fans Burns. walking past. Toss it back in. It doesn't mean Donald Duck. I've heard him do that. Is there anything besides a mean Donald Duck? Donald's a nice not normally Donald a nice Duck. guy. Uh, no, no. I'm just really a daisy. Mean, just oh. really yeah. 2-2 two, two, the count here, one down. McDonald's pitch. And just misses, 3-2. Full count pitch on the way. Grounded toward the gap, and that's going to get in for a single and load the bases up for Coon Rapids. Nice piece of hitting, good at bat for Brenda. To move the runners around. And despite the number of base runners, that is the first hit McDonald has given up today. Four walks, but that's the first hit. But he's in a bit of a jam here with just one out and, and bases loaded. We'll see how he handles it here. Wheeland hitting 250 as he steps to the plate in that tournament. Wheeland watching that one go high for ball one. He was 7 of 28 on the weekend docket. We'll see how he does here now that it's a weekday. Well, Monday night baseball. On CTA. 2-0 the count so far. Quinn McDonald taking a look around to make sure he knows where all the runners are at. 2-0 pitch comes way inside, 3-0. Whelan had to, had to move away quickly from the plate on that one. Good grab by the catcher there to prevent a wild pitch from letting her run in. 3-0 pitch on the way. And that one catches the top of the zone for strike one. Got the take sign on that pitch. Wheeling looking at 3-1 on the way. Swings through that for strike two, full count. And that's, that's a big strike for McDonald here. I'd like to get this batter at the plate and get two outs. Still trying to keep Coon Rapids off the scoreboard. Full count pitch on the way. And that one's fouled back to the backstop. Wheeling extends the at-bat. This pitch is hit into left field. Fielder ranges over to make that catch. And everyone's going to hold up where they're at. It's a big second out. And really, is at third base, it took off with the pitch. Had he stayed on the bag, he would have had an opportunity to tag and score. We'll get another look at it here. So he's going to take left. off down the line with the hit and then realize that ball is a 
pretty lazy fly ball. Orlikowski cuts through the first pitch. 0-1. Jack had a good tournament uh, hitting 333 on this weekend. Like to keep it going here with bases loaded and two away. Quick two strikes to him. He struck out last inning as he let off the last inning. And on the, on the other side of the of the ledger, Quinn McDonald would love just to, to get this hitter at the plate and get out unscathed after being in a bit of a jam. 0-2 pitch on the way. That one fouled back. Backstop's not too tall here but it's enough to protect the uh, crowd in the immediate vicinity. Still a chance to follow one back into the truck, and that's always the most important thing. We don't want that. The Buick's okay. Nice pitch inside from McDonald for his sixth strikeout. Bases loaded threat from Coon Rapids is ended. Blaine holds on to its lead. Coon Rapids leaves on three batters. We're going to the bottom of the fourth on CTM. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Did you know that fluorescent bulbs like this must be recycled? These energy saving bulbs are becoming the norm in the marketplace. But many people don't know they contain mercury, a toxic chemical that can seep into the air if the bulb is broken. All of these bulbs must be recycled. And it's easy to drop them off at the Coon Rapids Recycling Center. Local retailers will often recycle these bulbs as well, but no matter what, do not throw them away. They are considered a hazardous material to our environment. Recycling, made easy for you, right here in Coon Rapids. Quick game summary for you here. Great pitching game from the mound for Quinn McDonald. Couple strikeouts early on, kept Coon Rapids off the base paths outside of a few walks. In the first, a single from Wyatt Brenny put him on base. He was brought in by Quinn McDonald, the pitcher. RBI. The pitching dominance continued through the second and third. And in the third inning, Blaine tacked one more run on there after a single by Wyatt Brenny. He was brought around. And that 2-0 lead holds right now, bottom of the fourth. Brandon Strauss still out there on the mound for Coon Rapids. This first pitch has a nice arc to it. Gets inside for strike number one. Yeah, Coon Rapids had that opportunity to uh, to get some get something going here offensively in the top of the fourth and give Quinn McDonald some credit, did a good job of pitching out of it. Strauss. Gets that strike to end the inning. Strauss goes in on the hands. Ball one. One and one here. Coon Rapids definitely started to get something going there, but it was snuffed out before it could amount to any runs. I'd love to get back on it as that one is hit and caught. Great play there by Jimmy Brenda, ranging over from shortstop to make that catch. Yeah, did a, did a nice job of coming in and, and just getting it in the glove before it hit the ground. Get some of that great patented CTN replay here to show you. Just able to get the glove down and grab that one. Ball one here to Jack Pooner with one down. He lines to oh. first base. Ranging over to his left is Sean Wright to make the catch there. Two line outs. And two quick outs for Coon Rapids. Yeah, just what they wanted. Great play by Sean Wright as he's able to get that one in the glove. We saw one go off his glove earlier in this game. This one, uh, he was not going to let go by him. He made sure he grabbed a fine defensive play for number 27, Sean Wright. Brings Dallas Carey up. Singled back in the second inning. 
He's got a chance here with two out. Let's see if he can give Bland their first base runner this inning. I thought about that one, but watch as it go outside. 2 0. Pitched from Strauss. Gets fouled down in the dirt and rolls to the backstop. 2 1. There's a small there's a small spot underneath that fence at the gate and it went right underneath it. It's the like skill shot that, there, right? Yeah, I know that's uh, that's worth a million bucks. Nice pitch. Strauss curves that one in to even the count at 2-2. Two -two. Be nice to get out of this inning and uh, just a few pitches. Yeah, he would, he would love a quick inning just down 2 nothing. 2-2 pitch from Strauss gets that got away from him a little bit. Away from him. Oh, we got a full count. Got some leaves blown off the trees, falling into the uh, field here, but they're staying in foul territory for now. Like how he said, pretty deep from home plate to the backstop. Especially for leaves. Full count pitch here with two out. That one's grounded towards second base. Scoop. Throw and that ends the inning. Three up, three down. Just how Coon Rapids wanted it. And they'll get another chance at the plate to put some runs on the board here. Still down 2 0, going to the fifth on CTM. So I just moved in with this family and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. I adopted Bento in 2010 from a shelter. As it turns out, we have very similar personalities and this cat makes me make art because he's always motivating me to take pictures of him, to draw pictures of him. He just is motivating artistically. It's just that simple. Well, he's my best friend, but a lot of people know him as Keyboard Cat. Fifth inning baseball, Coon Rapids coming up to the plate, down 2-0, Howie. Some good discipline from them. Yeah, and that was an important inning for them to to get out, get up and get back into the plate because they're just, I mean, again, we're, we're top of the fifth now, just trailing by two. They definitely got to McDonald that last inning. He walked a couple batters. No runs across, but he's still out on the mound there. And he's going to start his inning facing bottom of the order. Center fielder Ryan Corey. Corey able to draw a walk back in the third inning last time he was at the plate. Corey hit 292 on the weekend in that tournament. Had a pretty good uh, pretty good weekend set. McDonald's pitch there misses. Able to follow that one back to the backstop. But that'll be strike number two. McDonald takes a look there to see what his catcher wants him to deliver. One two pitch grounded to second base. Fielded cleanly and tossed over for out number one. Put it with a nice play in the field. Easy play to Perot at first base. And we'll go back to the top of the order for Coon Rapids. Kyle Woodward. Oh, 
Oh, we got a new batter here. Number 35 for Coon Rapids. It's Hunter Warniak. You knew that, though. I did know that. I just didn't have my sheet close enough. <laughs> Hunter hitting 200 in the season, 176 in the tourney. He takes ball one high. Second one doesn't quite find the zone there either, 2-0. Three O count here with one down top of the fifth. And he's able to draw the four pitch walk. Give Coon Rapids the base runner. Brings up uh, Dawson Chambliss. We're just looking to see how many changes they make, but that was uh, the only one they made in the order at this point. Mm -hmm. Dawson still looking for his first hit tonight. The big open stance you see there. Cuts at that one and gets away from the catcher. And that's going to advance the base runner there. Just off the top uh, of Cook's glove. They'll definitely trade a strike for that opportunity for the runner to get second in scoring position. And again, that removes a lot of that double play pressure there. This pitch misses. Ball one. Both fielders playing pretty close to second base there. As that one is lined just over the head of the second baseman. That's Runner's going to dig for home. Throw on the way. And that's going to go past him. And Chamber, I'm sorry, Jambliss is going to cut over to second with an RBI. And Coon Rapids is on the board. Well, that's what they needed to do. They needed to get on the board. I mean, again, just Blaine, just with that 2-0 lead, now cuts the lead in half with that RBI. Single in the air on the overthrow. Great placement on the hit just to get over the fielder. And they find themselves in the same position with one out runner on second. First pitch strike to Sean Wright. Caught a nice line drive defensively last inning. He was in the right place. Right place, right time. As he swings right through that one. 0-2. Two make walks a, today. He did make his mind up right away. Two walks for him, so he's got his eyes right on the plate. As he grounds that one to second. Throw to first, gets the runner. However, it moves Chambliss over to the third in scoring position. And a big second out in the field for Blaine as they would like to just limit Coon Rapids to the one run. But if uh, Jackson Aurelius has anything to say about it, he's going to keep this inning going, hopefully, for him for his, his squad. He saw first base after a walk last inning. The runner at third. He sees the first pitch go out for ball one. That pitch catches that inside edge of the plate there. Nice pitch. As we get a good look at the bullpen for Blaine. Got an arm warming up out there. That's still going to be number nine, Andrew Gores. Nice pitch for McDonald. Drop in for strike two. Yeah, big pitch there too. Heading the count one and two. Great place for a pitcher to be. And he gets him swinging. Strikeout number seven of the night for Quinn McDonald, but Coon Rapids able to get one back. One run across as they'll go back out on defense. Down two to one. Middle of the fifth, you're watching VFW Baseball. I'm a single mother, and I was the main one working, so I never thought that I could go back to school, you know? My 
sister, my mother, everybody wanted to help me with my kids. I could not have gotten my diploma without my family. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. This is my kingdom come. This is my kingdom come. Hi, I'm Ryan Nagasu, 2010 Olympian and bronze medal winner of the 2014 U.S. Championships. I knew I loved skating at the age of five, and now it's become my life passion. Find your skating passion at the Coon Rapids Ice Center. Classes are available all year round. It could be the place where your skating dreams come true. See you on mice. It's a beautiful day out here. Sunny today with light breezes, giving way to clouds in the afternoon. We could see some light precipitation to moderate precipitation later on, followed by powerful storm-like conditions. 90 miles per hour winds are expected. Authorities are asking everyone, stay indoors. Come on, that's it, let's go. Back with baseball strike number one to Alex Luck out batting. Coon Rapids able to score a run that last half inning, make it a 2-1 game. And they, and they had a good inning last in the field, 1-2-3 inning for Coon Rapids. Like to see the repeat of that. I'm sure Brandon Strauss would like to limit his pitches here and see if he can get his squad back to the plate quickly. Here's a head quickly 0-2 on Luck out. Takes a look and gets the sign. 0-2 pitch on the way here. In on the hands and fouled out. So the 0-2 pitch on the way here. Little extra curve on that one as it gets outside. 1-2. Just four hits in the game for Blaine so far. Two for Coon Rapids. Make that's a foul ball. Just barely grounded foul. Just outside of third baseline, that would have been an easy single. Yeah, yeah, may have, and may have been extra bases at that point. But it bounces on the outside of the bag. Our umpire right there to make the call. A one two the count. That hit him. And that one hits him in the back. And puts a man on base. Always not your favorite way to get to first base, but you'll take it. Well, no, not a good way to start the inning for Coon Rapids, especially when he was heading the count. Isaac Robinson comes up to the plate. Only his second at bat tonight. Flew up back in the second. He's got a man on first. As you see, Luckout take a pretty big lead there. After that first pitch. one -oh pitch in there for strike. Evens the count back up. Strauss wants to see maybe if he can keep this ball low, something in this in the in low in the zone, force a ground ball, see if they can turn a couple. One one pitch is just a bit low there. Good, pa good patience for Isaac Robinson there. Watching that one go by. Just a one run game here, bottom five. Strauss throws back to first. Got to keep the runner honest. Two one count. He checks the runner again. Throws home. That's ball three. Well, now you're in a situation of uh, with a three and one count of losing him here, and you definitely do not want to put the first two men of this inning on base. 
Strauss. Throws this one here. Gets down, but it doesn't matter. It was ball four anyway. Now you got to practice that throw it out of the bag. There you go. Good opportunity to do so. Maybe you get the runner to accidentally overrun second, right? Yeah, right. Getting his head a little bit. Only the first batter that Strauss has walked tonight, so. Back to the top of the order for Blaine Wyatt Brinney. He watches strike one go by. Nobody out. Runners on first and second. Two singles and both runs for Blaine came courtesy of Brenny. That's what you want out of your leadoff batter. Get on base and get around. Oh, nice pitch there, too. Good curveball. It's Brenny behind in the count. Oh, and two. Strauss takes a look there. Throws home. That one's grounded at third base. Fielded, and it's a foot race. But Chambliss able to get over there first, get that important first out. Let's get the lead runner. Just wonder if you have an opportunity at that double play, do you go for it? But Chambliss that time feeling that he needed to beat the runner at the bag, get the lead runner. Nice pitch there again from Strauss. As we saw, as he fielded that one, is in on the heel of his hand. He may not have had a clean shot at it, so. Took out the heel? Does your hand have a heel? The heel of the glove. Okay, okay. I'm just wondering. I just didn't know if, the, yeah, if the I'm heel. missing something. Yeah, the heel of the hand. I suppose, yeah, 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 it's a heel. Okay. I guess that makes a. Where's the head of your hand, though? Is it the, the thumb, thumb or the middle oh, finger? Oh, it's the thumb. Is it? Yeah, it's the okay. thumb. Quinn McDonald up here. He takes the strike to even the count, 1-1. One, one. one out, though. I'm sorry, 1-2 count. Two runners on here, bottom five. That important first out out of the way. We'll see if we get a chance at a double play ball here. Strauss's pitch gets lined to the shortstop. Brenda brings it in, gets that second out. Runners get back. Well, he looked to try and get Robinson at second base, but tough for Olerkowski to get over there in time. So but, that's two down. But an all-important second out for Coon Rapids in the field. Dylan Wilson with an RBI back in the third as he drove Brenny in. Allen's popped up and caught to end the inning. Couple base runners, but no damage done. As we go to the end of the fifth, playing up 2-1 here on CTN Coon Rapids. Hart, what's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. You constantly ignore me. You barely eat anything healthy. You're half as active as you used to be. The pressure is just too much. I quit. Okay, I get it. I'll do better. Just please, don't leave. Okay, but remember, if I go, you go. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. Uncontrolled high blood pressure could lead to stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late. Sometimes all it takes to be a dad is remembering how to be a kid again. <laughs> Take time to be a dad today. Baseball outside. Always a good time, Howie. Always a good time. 
lot even of, baseball inside's fun. A lot of fans out here to watch tonight. Got the lawn chairs up by the fence. Yeah, pretty soon before we know it, the lights will be on here at Paul Parkway Field, the Blaine Baseball Complex. We have a new pitcher on the mound for Blaine. That would be, we talked about him, that would be Andrew Go Goers. He had a chance to warm up the last two innings here. And he is going to take over out on the mound. Two innings left to play. His team up by one. So save opportunity for him here. First batter he's going to face tonight from Coon Rapids is Carter Anderson. On the top of the, the six now. Good opportunity here for Coon Rapids. Just down by a run. Yeah, something going last inning. Just could only score the one, but... See what they can do here if they can continue offensively to try and get something going and keeping this game close. That one popped up to center field. Doesn't have to move too much. Brings that one in for the first out. So McDonald through five innings. Seven strikeouts, five walks, Brady one hit, but gave up a run. Brady didn't have to do much, as you mentioned. Record that first out. Goers gets the first pitch across for a strike. To Brenda, shortstop for Coon Rapids. That one in the dirt, skips behind the catcher. 1-1. Big swing and a miss. Nice pitch there to get him to chase. One, two, ahead in the count with one down. A good situation here for goers from the mound. Another pitch gets past the catcher. Two, two, the count here. Jake Willing getting a pretty good uh, workout chasing foul balls behind the plate. Another one in the dirt there. And that'll make it a full count, 3-2. Sun hiding behind some clouds. So. It's still nice out though. It's beautiful. And that one driven into left field. Easy. Big air under it, but that's gonna be out number two. Easy play for Dallas Carey in left field. And again, just getting under that ball a little bit. He thought, I think, a little bit was going to go further when it came off the bat and realized that it's a relatively easy play. And with two down, that'll bring up Coon Rapids' designated hitter, Jake Weiland, who watches ball one go high. Also looking for his first hit tonight. Yeah, just two hits for Coon Rapids here. through five and two-thirds so far. 2-0 the count. Good patience at the plate from them, though. Able to get a lot of batters on with walks against McDonald. Got one of them across to make it a one-run game. That one barely catches the top of the zone for a strike, 2-1. Delivers that one just outside. Oh, that's a strike. And the swing went around enough to yeah, call it a strike. It. He offered. Just after he swung, he already knew it was uh, a mistake. 2-2. Two, two. That one in the dirt again. 3-2. Gore's having a little bit of control issues here in the first. We'll see uh, if that's something that comes back to haunt him later. But with no base runners, it's hard to do any damage. Yeah. You just, you just want to avoid the walk in this situation. Swings through 3-2. Three, three up, three down in the top of six. New pitcher Goers gets his first strike out of the night, and we'll go to break. We'll be back in a little bit with more baseball from Blaine on CTN.
Looking for these? You drive buzzed. It could be one very expensive ride. First, you gotta make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. The pink playground and the plastic slide here in Blaine at the baseball complex. Slight breeze. Ever so slight. But I think, uh, not sure if we'll see any more sun here yet today. Some cloud cover. It's getting a little later in the day. Later in the day and later in the game. Bottom of the sixth. Blaine looking to add to that 2-1 lead they got before we go to the final frame. Looking to see if the opportunity to get some insurance. And their first chance at that is going to be Brandon McClevey. DH, couple ground outs so far this game. Coon Rapids still has Strauss out on the mound there for his sixth inning of work. First pitch is high for ball one. One zero pitch on the way here. That one catches the outside. Nice framing by Aurelius. One one. That pitch comes in and gets away. That's why you wear the leg armor, Howie. Usually we don't have to. It's a, it's a comfort thing. That's why I wear it. Oh, I know why you wear it. You wear it to look cool. Yeah. It's the hot new trend wearing catcher leg armor out in public. Grounded straight down the first baseline. Easy scoop and grab for right for the first out of the inning. Again, we talked about Coon Rapids in the field like a quick inning here again. Get back to the plate. Right, just the one hopper to the glove. Steps on the bag. As you mentioned, for the first out of the inning. Strauss taking a look. Next batter he faces is Patrick Perrault. 0 for 2 tonight. Follows that first one off the hands just over the dugout. Strauss ahead in the count, 0-1. That one lined over to short, throw is over, and in time, they get him at first. Oh, good job by uh, Brenda to recoup after he lost the handle on that one a little bit, and nice throw and a good scoop by Sean Wright. It was a hot grounder, hit to short. He's gonna go off his glove, he's gonna have to move to his left, and then the quick throw over to the bag, nice scoop as you as we talked about, Ron Wright doing a good job getting out number two. Make sure the umpire sees that he's got the ball in there. Two quick outs for Coon Rapids, just what they wanted. That one's grounded straight down first base. Right when I say it's two quick outs, they turn it into three. So real fast, three ground out inning. Gets Blaine back on defense. Coon Rapids with their last chance. Down one run here, going to the seventh. VFW Baseball on CTM. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom. That'll set your game back a few years. 
buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Don't look at me. Your hair's a bit frizzy today. Oh, you should pick that up. <laughs> oh, you're such a dork. Loser. Here, let me help you with that. Oops. <laughs> Every day, kids witness bullying. Oh, look. Your crush is looking at you. <laughs> Poor you. <laughs> they want to help but don't know how. See, no one here is going to help you. because no one Teach your kids you. how to be more than a bystander. Visit StopBullying.gov. Taking some pictures here at the ballpark. Coon Rapids players. Top seven, Howie Coon Rapids needs to make something happen if they want to extend this game. Yeah, They're I saw down you, one. I saw you photobombing that, uh, that picture session. I do what I can. I'm a man of very few talents, but photobombing and wearing catcher gear in public are two of them. Blake Erickson at the plate for Coon Rapids. Erickson uh, hitting 316 on the season, 278 in the tourney. He grounds this one hard to second base, and it gets through the legs for a single. That's exactly what you want to start off your inning. Get a good look at that one there. Jack Pooter just not getting the glove down. Takes a hop there. Puts that tying run over at first base. Bunt gets fouled off. We hear a lot of noise from the, uh, the benches here as people trying to warn of the run. Ryan Curry walked back in the third, ground out in the fifth, but he's got a chance here. Well, they Advance put in, the runner. They put in Jack or Orlikowski as a pinch runner. And that's who was normally batting in the eighth spot yeah. there. So Curry shows bunt again. This Paul's in the dirt. One one. We did see last half inning. Goers putting a few pitches down in the dirt there. Corey with a 1 1 count. Man on first, nobody out. Shows bunt, lays that one down, and it rolls foul again. Now changes things up a little bit with two strikes. Are you calling change up? Is that the that the yeah? Pitch the pitch could be a change changes up. Changes things up yeah, a bit. It does. Yeah. The change up changes things up a bit. Corey one two man over on first with nobody down. Swings through that one for strike three, and that's the first out. Big out for Blaine. That's going to bring up Jake Curry to the plate, the twin brother of Ryan Curry. Bats from the other side. Jake hitting 100, 133 on the season and 083 in the, the tournament, looking to improve on that here, here on this Monday night. That pitch in the dirt bounces away from the catcher. That's going to help. And Orlowski, who's out there running, will be on second base. Not much Cook could do on that to stop that, to keep that ball in front of him. And pitch down in the dirt. Well, and you can see on the replay there, a lot of space. Yeah. Back here for a ball to roll away. So 1-0 runner on second, tying run out on second base with only one down. That pitch is outside. Ball number two. Patience by Corey at the plate. Taking a pressure situation here with one out, looking to stay in this ball game. Nice pitch there. He takes strike one from Goers. Two one pitch on the way here. 
That one is high for a ball. Well, now you're in a situation where you're three, three and one, risk putting Corey on with a free pass with one away. Well, with only a one run lead. Put that tying run on. Every out's important here. Second base. Three one oh. right down the pipe. Corey was heading to the bag, but our official thought otherwise as counts three and two. Full count, we'll see what the runner does here. Hate to take off and then have it be a walk and have him throw you out. And offered at that. Oh. He did hold back on that one. Ball was outside and that's gonna be a walk to put the. Looked like he offered, but uh, go ahead, run able to hold, just hold back. So runners at one, two, one down. Dawson Chambliss, RBI back in the fifth. He's got a chance to add a few more here with runners at first and second base. Cousin Dreckman, number nine for Coon Rapids, the runner at first base. Get some speed out there. If Ball one is high. If I'm butchering your name, I certainly apologize. Well, he can't hear you. He's but he might watch it later. And, oh, I got you. And then he would say that uh, that like announcer doesn't travel. even know my name. Oh, wait, he just apologized to me. There you so go. We got I'll, it. I'll forgive him. That one's in on the hands, falled off left field, and is going to go out of play. One and one. Oh, one thing I always like about doubleheaders, Howie, is uh, after all the, the stress that goes into a game, you get to wipe the slate clean and start over again. Yep, you but, do. But you already know your opponent. Swings at that one in the dirt. It's under the catcher. He loses it, but nobody advances. One, two, the count. Always some panic as a catcher when you lose the ball. We'll see what? that one there. Yeah, I just didn't Died know where it right was. underneath him. He's spinning around trying to find it. Hey, there it is. It's right one, here. two, pitch. Fouled. As we extend the at-bat, pressure cooker builds, right? The pressure cooker does build. You know, Blaine, uh, only six hits in this entire game by both these two teams. That pitch is high over the head and bounces out of the glove. Of Cook. Cook's having a tough uh, couple of pitches. Got to get that stick -em on the glove there, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, bubble gum. Just put some chew, bubble gum in there. Just chew some bubble gum, put it in your glove. That's why it used to come with baseball cards. Right. 2-2 mm -hmm. pitch on the way. That one is high. Full count. And that was the best gum. I always loved that gum that came in baseball cards. I, I grew up and as then, a Bazooka Joe kind well, of guy. Well, I liked Bazooka Joe. That would probably be my gum of choice. But Brian Troush likes the big league chew. What flavor, Brian? Grape? Bubble gum. Big swing nice and a miss. pitch from Gores to get Chambliss swinging. That is two out, but there are still runners out on the base paths able to do some damage. As Sean Wright gets a chance here, two walks today already, so definitely showed some patience at the plate. We'll see. This is his first chance to go against Goers. It's Coon Rapids is down to their last out of this first game. The first pitch is high. Yeah, again, just uh, with runners at first and second, just trying to keep this game alive. One zero pitch on the way. Down and in. Ball two. Wright takes a look and waits for Doris to get set up. Nobody checking the runners at this point. You just worry about the guy at the plate. Nice pitch there. Gets a strike. Keeps him honest. 2-1 count. <laughs> Goers 2-1 pitch. On the ground. And foul to make it 2-2. Oh. 
Pressure's on the pitcher at this point to deliver. Yeah, you just want to you just want to keep this thing low in the zone. But instead, he gets right to chase. Strike three to end the game. Two strikeouts to end the threat from Coon Rapids, and Blaine's going to take the first game of our doubleheader tonight. 2-1, as Howie mentioned earlier. Not a lot of hits in the game. We had, I think, just as many walks as hits tonight. But uh, McDonald started out hot. Got some of those first batters for Coon Rapids. Well, that's it. That'll do it for us, too, for the for game number one. We're going to come back and, uh, and bring you the game two here in a little bit. But uh, Jeremy, I'm sure everybody hopefully enjoyed that first game and are sitting on the edge of their seats waiting for game two to start. There we go. Well, we had some good drama there at the end. Hopefully our second game brings some more. We'll be back. We hope you're back with us here in just a few for game two of our Blaine Coon Rapids doubleheader in Blaine. VFW Baseball on CTN Coon Rapids. <laughs> 